in this 10-5 game, we're going to be white, and I'm going to go with the e-pawn, looking for a scotch game opening. This is what I'm thinking now. I want to play an open game today. Don't want to go for kind of like a setup-based opening or anything. I want to play an open game. We could just push this pawn here. The Sicilian defense. So let's push this pawn. I'm fine with taking with the queen. We can drop the queen back if we need to. But if they don't take, then I might just take their pawn. Or actually, I'm just going to push. If they don't take my invitation with the smith Mora gambit, then I'm just going to push. Now the question is, now that they've pushed this pawn, the reason is they want to discourage this push that I said about. So if they take, then we take here. We have this check. They can block with a bishop. We can bring our bishop out. They can block with a pawn. I don't know what the best move is here, but I'm going to push this pawn and see. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to push this pawn and see. Now we have this open check. They could just block with the queen and basically pin our queen as well to the king. So this could be an interesting game. But I've played a couple of games like this before where I've pushed this pawn and it gets very hard for them to develop with that pawn there. So I'm actually tempted. That's maybe why they've done that. Because I was actually very tempted to push that pawn there and have this shadow over their development. They pushed this pawn instead though. So the question is, we can push here, defend this pawn in the center. We can have a check. Probably just bishop or knight is coming to block that. They could block it with the queen. We could develop another piece. We could develop our bishop. I'm going to develop this knight first, because it might come in handy with some checks or something like that. If we can get the king closer by, for example, on this square, we have a check here, don't we? So I'm just going to get the knight out for now. We still have the check in the bag. And we can still block the enemy check with our bishop as well. So they bring their knight out as well, targeting this pawn. But it is defended with our queen. It is defended. We can also pin their knight. They could push. We could take. They could bring their queen out. We could go there. What I would really like, before we start thinking of tactics like this, is I would really like to castle. So I'd like to castle because I can get the rook on this file here. I can get the rook on this file. And then we could maybe have a, a tactic on their queen. So this is what we're going for now against Nasiris. And let's see. Let's see what they decide to do. So what are they, what are they thinking? If we were black, I was just about to say a developing move makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? We're just going to castle. Don't need to do anything fancy. They castle as well. Okay. So we know where we need to direct our, our forces, but we're already actually kind of pointing that way with a few of our pieces. So this is looking kind of interesting. A better square now for this bishop would be d3, wouldn't it? That would be a better square, but it obstructs the queen's protection of that pawn. So if we want to do that, we need to push this pawn first or bring a knight out. I'm going to push this pawn so that we can still bring the knight out here to c3. I don't want to put the knight there and then block the pawn. So that's why I've done that. So just developing, carrying on. This is protected now. It can't be attacked by another pawn because we've removed this e-pawn already. Now they bring the bishop out. It doesn't really threaten much because if they take, we just take back with the rook. So I'm kind of just going to ignore that. But I think what they want to stop is this. I think that's what they want to stop, isn't it? So can we get a knight here? That's the question. We can. Let's go there. Drop down and then come to here to kick that bishop away. That's what I want to do. I want to get rid of that bishop so I can put the bishop here on d3 like I mentioned. That's my long-term attack because then we're mounting all our forces along here. We've got the bishop that can take with check. Yes, we've got a knight there now, but this is thinking a bit longer term. This bishop is potentially going to be a liability if we can divert this queen as well because we can get the rook on this file attacking that bishop. So a couple of moves we've got. This is just a kind of a, a banker move for them. They're preventing the knight there, but they don't realize I'm actually going this way. That's what they don't realize. So I'm going to move the rook over first. We've got some banker moves that's, that are in our plan. We don't need to attack yet. We're just repositioning our pieces. And if we move here, and they decide to take, and then we take with the queen. That actually works very well for us. Works very well. So I'm more than happy with that. They think I'm going there, but actually here. I love the, 
the distraction I created there. They just wasted a tempo trying to stop something that I wasn't actually trying to do. What's their idea with the knight here? I mean, here is not the idea, obviously, we take. There, not the idea, we take. There, not the idea we can just take with the king. The thing that they're doing with that knight move is they're removing a key defender of this square as well. And I think what they want to do is just keep the knight there. I think they want it as an outpost. But the thing is that I'm wondering about, what about this bishop move? Bishop there. Say, for example, they move the knight back. We just win a bishop. If they don't move the knight, it's pinned. Or not pinned, sorry. But if they don't move the knight, then it's attacked twice. How can they defend it? They can't defend it with anything else. So I think that was a mistake from them. I think that just loses a knight. Unless I'm missing something. What if they drop the knight here? What if they put the knight here to attack the queen? We can take with a pawn first. Then their bishop can take our bishop when we take with the queen. So I think this just wins a knight here. I think they've made a mistake there. We'll check it in the game review. But I'm pretty sure that wasn't the move that they were looking for. That was a mistake. They're going to have to... I think the strongest move for them, I think they might just end up dropping back and taking the bishop hit. I think that might be what they have to end up doing. Because they need to defend this square. And if they lose both pieces, if, we, if they let us take the knight, they take back with the bishop and then we take here, that looks horrible to deal with because then we've got the rook that can slide over. The queen can come over pretty quickly as well. We've got a knight over here. So yeah, this looks hard to deal with. This is going to be interesting for them. And what would I do if I were if I were black here? What would I do in this situation? This is the thing that's difficult, isn't it? Because this pawn is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Not so much on this square, but on the c6 square. The knight can't get there at all because we just take. So it's kind of limiting the knight's mobility. The knight can go here. But then where's it going to go? It can go here and we just take it. Or it can drop back to here. So I think actually knight here wouldn't be the worst move. Okay, they take the pawn. Question is, do we take back immediately or do we take the bishop? Obviously, this. So we take, the, we take back immediately. So that's what we do there. They can take the bishop now, but we just take with the queen. So that helps us. And if they don't, they've still lost the knight, obviously. We're two points of material up. So they had a desperado take with that pawn and I think that was the right move for them actually at least they got a piece of material rather than losing three full pieces with that knight now they try and pin the knight okay we have a check though remember and then if the king takes we have another check which reveals the attack on the bishop so this is looking spicy this is looking spicy and if for example, we take and the king just goes across. What would we do then? We could just drop back and we've gained a pawn. What about kicking this bishop? It could go there, it could go there, it could go all the way back. So, I actually prefer kicking it. Because yes, it can take, but then we just take back. Actually, with the queen would be better. But I want the, I want to get this bishop out of the way and kind of want to get this knight out of the way so we can bring the queen over quickly to this file and attack. Because once we take with check here, they could actually just slide the king over and not take. Then we move the bishop back out and then go for check with the queen. So I think, <laughs> I think that's why they've done that. And this is the interesting thing now. Do we want to do the check now? Check, slide over. I'm going to do it. I don't know if that's the best move, but it's too tempting not to. And I just hope they take back. I hope they take back. If they slide over instead, we're obviously just going to bring the bishop back. But I feel like we've got options here. We can kick the bishop again, gaining a bit more space. They do take back. Oh, they do take back. So this is interesting now. This check actually loses the knight. But then... We can take here with check again. And then we get the bishop back in return. So we're even on material now because we sacked that bishop. We take with check. They take. 
We take the bishop. They have to move the king back. We can't take this bishop because it's protected by the queen at that point. But we can bring other attackers in. Oh no, we can. We go there. They take with the bishop. We take with check. The king moves back. Then we take with... Oh, this is disgusting. We take with our bishop that's sniping in the background. I almost didn't see it. So they can take. We take with check. Now they have to move the king. They can't attack us with the pawn. Oh, this has been violent. A violent attack on their king. They block with the bishop. I didn't think of that, did I? Did not think of that. Fair. But. Take. Take with the pawn. Check. This still looks horrible for, for black. This still looks horrible for black. Or we can check immediately. Then they have to go back. Then we take with the bishop. And then it's the kind of the same thing. There's definitely a tactic here. There's definitely a way to win this outright. I'm going to go for simplifying it. Take that bishop. They're going to take back now with the pawn, I believe. Then we slide over with check, I think is the move. This is going to get interesting. The key thing we need to do now is get these other pieces into the game, especially this knight, which I had this tactic of, oh, they come back with a check of their own. They come back with a check of their own. Okay. We can drop the king away. We can block with the queen. Is another option. If we block with the queen, they can just take the bishop, but they were going to take that anyway. So this isn't as straightforward as I thought, is it? It's not as straightforward as I thought. Drop here. This doesn't work. Dropping the king back. This could be a mistake. But I'm dropping the king back because I want to be able to bring this rook over. I think they're gonna take this bishop with the queen now, and then I would take. Yes, they can take with the king, but then I think, okay, so I'm gonna take back. Now we're even, I believe, in on material. So they're gonna take with the king, surely, they do. So we're even on material after all that. Even though I gained that knight, or two points of material at least at the start, we're even on material. What I'd love is to pin these two pieces, the knight and the rook there, if we can get this rook out. For now, we've got the open file already. I think it's important to get our knight into the game. Maybe to this square, then with... Okay, they want to get their knight in the game as well. What about this, though? Attacks the knight. If the knight moves, we take this pawn. If they defend the knight there, we take this pawn. If they defend it with that rook, then... We run out of options a little bit. To attack. But it does force them to bring the rook over... For now, I'm going to continue and bring our knight over as well. They can go here. They can also go there. But we have this check now. That's why I wanted to bring my knight here, here is because we have a check. It gives us opportunities. And this is getting interesting. I'm enjoying this game. It's been definitely an attacking game, definitely open. We've got a bit better pawn structure potentially here when we build up this chain. They still have their four pawns though, to be fair. They bring their knight as well. So the question is now, the thing is, no, I don't think that's a move because we take there with check, we, we check here, then we take this hanging pawn. And then once that pawn is taken, this knight is then hanging. So I think this is gonna get a little bit tricky for them, but we will see. They can't defend this pawn and move from check at the same time. So this is gonna win the pawn at least. This is at least going to win that pawn. And then we can also push this pawn, which is quite close to promotion already. So I think that was a mistake from them. Their knight moves in this game have not been brilliant. Their knight moves have not been brilliant yet. I think, <laughs> I think at least. That's what we're going to check on the game review. But this is why they're thinking about it, because they've seen about this attacker about this defender of the knight being removed. So we can take here. Let me just check before I do that. I don't want to blunder something stupid. They have a check here, but we can just take. Okay, so we take this pawn. What's their next move? They need to move that knight to safety or protect it so they could go there with the pawn, but then we take that pawn. This does look good for us, unless I've missed something. Okay, so they did exactly what I mentioned, but we can take that pawn. So now this is looking tricky for them. We need to get our other rook into the game. This is going to be 
Okay, they take the hanging pawn, which I didn't, admittedly, I did not see that. Fair. <laughs> Somehow I missed that. However, this pawn of theirs is also hanging. This pawn of ours is also hanging. But if we keep trading pawns like this, then I believe we're going to be at an advantage. What about this as well? That doesn't do anything yet. Take. I believe they're going to take here. I think that's what they're doing. They want to do at least. So I think they're going to take this pawn here. I think we'll then slide over with the rook. It pins, it doesn't pin the knight, but it attacks it at least. And I think what we need to do, okay, so they want to stop this promoting, don't they? They want to stop that promoting. Push doesn't work. Take. Here. Attacks by the knight. And then we can go there, that's okay. Would it be better to use this one though? Use that rook? Because then we can bring the other rook over to the side. I think that seems a bit more appealing to use this rook to defend. They can still take that. But now we go here, attacking their knight. Then they're going to go here, I guess. <laughs> this, is, this is getting interesting. Then they're going to go there. But we can attack their rook as well. Two can play at that game. We can attack their rook. Encourage them to come over here. Oh, but then it's a pin on the knight then it's a pin on the knight. So this is going to get tricky because if we go here with the knight, we can't move the knight out of the way and then they slide over. So this is the thing. Yeah, they're attacking the rook. If we go here with the knight, they can slide over here. I was thinking we fork the two rooks, but actually we can't because then they just go down here and take the rook here with check. So before we do that, we can't push this pawn either. We can attack the knight from here to the side. And before we do what I just mentioned, I think we need to bring the rook maybe to here. Okay, so they move the knight in front of the pawn. Good defense. This is not hanging. We can't go here. What's the best way to deal with this? We can, we do have this, but then does that run into a problem still? They go here with the rook. We can go there, then they just take this with check. So that doesn't work. I think we need to get our king into the game now. I think we need to get our king into the game. They want to get their king into the game as well. What about this? That, I think, is the move. I think that's the move. I've been looking for a move that works because, yes, the, the knight is there. But once the knight moves, maybe we can encourage gently... The knight to move once it moves or the defender of the knight moves for example this rook then we can attack this pawn or we can just take the free pawn so thank you for that we will take the free pawn then they come with check but I'm not too maybe wrongly I'm not too scared of this but we need to make sure we don't get forked here so if we go here and then there that is a fork they're forking these pieces. So we need to be careful with this. Maybe we can go to f3. Is that better? f3 is not forkable. We can also go this way. I'm going to go to f3. We just have to be very careful with forks here with this jumpy jumpy knight. We have to be very careful with forks. They take our pawn. Okay. <laughs> they take our pawn. Can we attack this knight? This knight is under attack. We can jump here. We can go back down here afterwards. We can just jump straight there. Then we can go here. I prefer this square. We've got this, which attacks this knight. It would be really nice if their king was on a forkable square as well, but we want to trade off pieces here. We are a pawn up, and I feel like we could win an end game. They go for a check. We have to be so careful here with the knight. What about this? Or even what about this? Does that not encourage or force a trade? They could move the rook. I'm going to do that. Pre-move the take back. I'd be fine with a trade. Definitely fine with a trade. Because also having the knight on this square, I'll pre-move that again, gives us... No, it doesn't let you pre-move and, and draw on the board. But we can then move here with check if we have our knight on that square. So let's pre-move that. They're thinking about it. They're debating... 
whether to allow that. I'd also be more than happy if they tried to defend their rook. They move their rook out of the way instead, but if they tried to defend it is what I was about to say. So this square is possibly a danger. We can push and check. What's the way to win this? Push here, no. Push the pawn, doesn't get taken. Go there, no. Knight takes, we take, they take. Could do, so what about that there? The knight just takes it, no. So I'm gonna push, a little bit low on time. Not sure what the best move is. I'm gonna push so that we can eventually maybe check. Once we can check, maybe we can take one of these pawns. This is getting definitely tricky for me to calculate. They've got the time advantage, but I'm glad this is a five second increment. You don't know what's gonna happen, right? Until right at the very end. This, maybe if we put the rook here first, then move this over, which attacks the knight, then we can take the knight there. If we could, that knight is the thing that's blocking us. So they're going there for a check, I believe. They want to check. What about moving here? That doesn't give them any checks here. There, because now we can slide the rook over. Now we can slide the rook over to defend against their check and see if they want to trade again. They don't want to trade. They definitely don't and they shouldn't. So we go here. I'm just really nervous about having a fork with the knight. This is the thing that I'm nervous about. So that, let's see if they want to trade now. Let's see if they want to trade. They do. Finally, they want to trade. Okay. So now this knight move here is looking interesting because that wins a knight as far as I can tell. Or they take the, the knight and we take with our king and then that looks kind of winning. Although, yeah, that would be protected, the pawn. So I'm going to come with check now. So they, oh, they have no choice. They have no choice. And the move is not taking with the rook. That would be a blunder. The move is taking with the king so that this pawn is still protected. This pawn is protected as well by this one. So this is interesting now. This, <laughs> this is where it gets, this is where it gets interesting in the end game. We can promote this pawn, surely. Surely we can promote this. If we just push it all the way, and then we put our rook here, then we need to use the king as well to back it up, but that's the way to do it. They're targeting this lone pawn down here. We can target this pawn up here as well. Can we defend that in time? No. Can we push this? That doesn't really make sense to do that. So let's target this pawn there because we also then have a check afterwards. This, <laughs> this is not as clear as it seems. I felt like we were winning and we we're a point of material up at the moment in the end game, but we're about to lose. It kind of looks like we could, we could definitely lose one pawn and then we take back and defend this one. So we're okay, but it's not super clear cut because we don't have the path to defend this pawn. We'd have to go round this side because once we take here, we're defending this pawn they take, they've taken this one, we're defending this one. If we slide over to take this pawn, then this one dies. And if we try and go here, okay, they push the pawn. We have a check now. That would force the king here. We can also go here. Let's go there. We have a check. This is gonna force the king. Ah, oh, I should have moved the king first. I should have moved the king first. So this is not hanging. But now we can attack this pawn. If they push, then we take there. Oh, I think this is, because now they can take here, which is fine. Now they go for a check, okay. But is this possible? What about if we go here, they're gonna go there with check. Then we take, then they take that pawn. So I think this is the move here. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting end game analysis. I wanna push this pawn now and I wanna use the king along this side to help it promote. This is under attack, it can't push because then we just take. We can just take this pawn. But is it best just to push and ignore their threat? I think it might be. I think it might be best to push. They can't check us. They can take this pawn if they want. But they can't do much about it. We can then push in a second and then this is gonna get hard for them to deal with. 
our pawns are much closer to promotion. So although they've got more time and they're going to have more material, I don't think they can convert it. Ah, oh, this is... I'm nervous. I'm nervous for the end game here. They're going to take, I think. They're debating about it. But they're going to take... We can push here. What's the tactic? We push. They block. We could divert them, but then they're just going to take that as well. They do take. Okay. They do take. I want to go here. It cuts the king off. I want to take that pawn, and it cuts the king off. The king can't move over, so it has to go to this side to then push this pawn. So this is why I wanted to go there first. If I didn't do that, they could move the king over as well and maybe start attacking this pawn. So they're going to have to think about what to do now. They move to the side. Okay. This is going to force them to block it. Then we can move our king up. Okay, so they move. Does that not just lose? Am I missing something? No, because then they skewer the king and the queen. Okay. Good move. But what about this? They can check here. But then I can just help the pawn promote. And if they don't do anything now, yeah, they can do that. But I can do this. So I think they've made a mistake there. I feel like this is a mistake. But I'm still nervous to claim, <laughs> to claim victory or claim promotion here. But I don't know what they can do to stop this. They can check me and then I move over. But this is going to promote then. They can't stop it. And if they go, yeah, so now I go here. If they go here, I just take them. So it doesn't really work, does it? It doesn't work. And what I can do now in a second, they're going to check again. And I go here. Then I drop in front with the rook. Like so. And now if they move over to attack, I can promote. And then take back. Which is what I'm going to do. Take back. And then this is just winning. This is just winning. How do we win? Go there. They're going to have to go in front of the pawn. Then we move our king over to attack the pawn. <clears throat> oh, let me not mess this up. <laughs> let me not mess this up. Check. They're going to go there, aren't they? Let's go here. <laughs> no. So if I go there, they can't move the pawn. That's the thing, isn't it? They can't move the pawn now. So then we go here. They have to move the king out of the way. Then if we go here, then they can move the pawn. So how do we make sure? What about if we go here with the king, they move the pawn, then we check. They have to move the pawn away. Oh no. Let's go here. I want to look at this in the end game and see see what we did wrong. But check. They're going to go in front of the pawn, are they? Is that the thing? To prevent... And is this just a stalemate now? Is this just a stalemate? Is this going to prevent us winning by going there? If they go here... Okay. If we slide across and they promote, we'll take it. But if we slide across and they slide across. What about if we go here with the king, they promote, that doesn't work. What if we go there, they go across. Believe it or not, I don't think this is winning for us. I think we're going to end up just repeating. What about here? Let's go here. Now they're going to come across here again. I mean, we can take, but that's just a draw. We can't push. They can push now. So we're going to have to check again. <laughs> and then draw by repetition. Oh, that's frustrating. No. Oh, let's check that end game. I'm not sure there was a way to win in that end game, but I could be completely wrong. So let's have a look at this game review. This is going to be at least instructional. It does look pretty flat there at the end, doesn't it? Just zero on that line. So some massive advantages for white there that I blundered away. Let's scroll down. 71 accuracy and 74. 
and 1200 and 1300 so not far off what we are so no no massive issues there but there were some blunders throughout so let's have a look through here opening okay so this is pretty standard these were all book moves at this point even bringing the knight out book move that was fine as well is it going to say this square is better no just pushing okay it didn't want the knight to come here or the or the bishop to pin so that's why it's pushing that pawn there now we castle is best so this is all pretty standard here there's nothing crazy no you know mistakes or blunders until this great move and this was exact and that was best for them to take back and get some like a desperado attack to get some compensation for that so this is what we looked at isn't it take back with the king was best because the queen was hanging then they move there this was okay but what is it going to say is the best move moving the queen here because that is under attack as well attacked twice they would have to slide the rook over probably or maybe drop the no they can't drop the knight because we'd take with the pawns so they'd have to slide this rook over but moving the queen was best move, and this was an inaccuracy. So I wondered if this was correct or not, but it wasn't. That wasn't the right time to do it. The check was great, because then this comes, then they go there, and this was another inaccuracy. What's the best move? Pawn, because then that threatens. The king could move there, I guess. Let's look at the analysis. The king could move back, but that's not the best move for them. If the king moves back here, then what's the next move for us is g5. And the bishop is trapped. So the bishop can't move because it's pinned and it's got it takes one tempo to move back. And by the time they use that tempo, then we move there and trap the bishop. And if they take the pawn, we take the bishop anyway, and then they can take and then we take there. So I missed the fact that the bishop was pinned and also trappable. That's the bit I missed. That was a good a good lesson there. Now, queen comes out as a mistake and a blunder because I'm losing a bishop this way. Miss. Oh dear. This was important, wasn't it? I did so well up to that point. 4.6 in favour here. That was a blunder. Is it going to say the best thing is to bring the queen? No, it was... Oh, because it's a revealed check. I thought about that bishop move. And then I was like, no, the queen's going to take the bishop. But it's a revealed check. <sighs> wow. Question is... I was just about to say, why wouldn't you go there and attack the queen? But it's because you need to defend. It's because you need to block this isn't it so what happens after this let's look at the analysis king has to go back to here there's there's only one option isn't there and then after that what do we do here it says g4 queen here okay because then when, when this comes yes the queen could take actually but they can't at least take with the pawn so the next move for them is knight and then our follow-up is moving the king down so eventually it did want to get the king to safety maybe move the rook over but i did it in completely the wrong order this is now winning for white but the way i did it i basically blundered they missed the fact there they should have actually in this situation just taken with the pawn because that loses the bishop so i got basically i got uh, complacent the fact that i'd taken a bishop already i thought oh, okay i've lost that bishop so it doesn't matter now that i've lost it here but in fact i could have saved it by moving it back and revealing the attack. So I could actually save that bishop. There we go. So this is an interesting middle game here. We take back, take back. Okay, that's a mistake. Only one good option. Getting the rook onto the seventh rank. I shouldn't have neglected that, should I? That's the thing. Getting the rook onto the seventh rank. Knight there. Great move. Take the pawn, great move, or best move. Take again. That's fine. Take again. And this is still in my favor here. Mistake from them. And a mistake, a miss or an accuracy from them and a mistake from me should have gone here. This moves the rook to safety. Okay, this is fine, this is fine, this is an inaccuracy. Should have taken an outpost with the knight, yes, with the pawn there. I should have used that earlier. I used it with the rook, but not quite as useful. This is a mistake from them. Miss, should have defended this pawn, I think it's going to say. Yeah, that defends the pawn, doesn't it? So now by this point, it's actually even. It's pretty even, and you can see this was a blunder. No way. No actual way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, that is literally just a free night, and I was already... Wow. I'm sorry that you were screaming at that. I decided to push a random pawn instead. Oh, my God. Wow. Best for them to take back. That was forced for me to take back. And then a blunder from them. Let's click over to the review screen so we can see this leads to losing a knight. Mistake or inaccuracy. Best move for me? Take the knight. Interesting. 
Oh. Good tactic. Take the knight. Yes, the rook is being lost, but then a fork. And then they have to go here, and then they lose this. And that is promoting, isn't it? That is definitely promoting. This is looking definitely, what is it, 36 plus 36 on the evaluation. So I didn't spot that little tactic there. Once the king moved, it was on a forkable square, and we had this nice little tactic that we didn't spot. So yeah, that was a blunder from them, but we didn't use it in accuracy. Take back, take back. Okay, this is still massively in favor of white. And where did it all go wrong? We're going to scroll through here. It's this move where it died. This move. Instead of that, should have moved behind the pawn. Hard for me to see those moves sometimes. Should have moved behind the pawn. They check. That's fine. They take there. Best to move forwards with the pawn. Best to take. This is still even. That's a mistake. But I missed. Best move? Go here. So the reason for that is... Because if they check... Best move for them is to move here. But then I can promote. Or just move in front of the king, I guess. Now they can't stop promotion. How can they stop promotion? They're going to go here. They can't check the king. They can't check the king here. We just take. So this is just massive. Mate in 22, it says. This is just even forced at that point. So, yeah, I missed this opportunity. This was actually best, though. Mate in 45. That was an inaccuracy. This is fine. This is fine here. And then that. That's the issue. Went back to balance there. I basically gave up the queen. Oh, no. I just gave up the queen when I could have just done that. And then there's nothing they can do. Nothing. They're just going to have to sack the rook for nothing. And then, I mean, that's a bit easier to deal with than my queen, than my rook mess at the end, which we actually got to this and I sacked the, the queen off. And then we got to this point. Even here, so once we take here, this was a mistake. And then a miss. I had a winning move. Well, that's hard for me to see. That's hard for me to see. And then this point, it just says equal. So even though I tried, did lots of best moves here at this point, there's just nothing and it's a draw. So I kind of messed up earlier than that. I shouldn't have given up that queen. I thought that was just obvious because they're going to sack the rook, but they could have sacked the rook for a lower value piece and then I would have had a queen and then checkmated them easily. Wow, a fun game. Hopefully you enjoyed it too. I'll put another video down below that I think you might like. That's it from me today and I'll see you tomorrow.